Guess who's back with another disaster? Yeah, you saw the title. I made a game with only nine pixels. That's right, I still refuse to go outside. I was scrolling through YouTube for some inspiration, and I came across this video by Fairly Fine. They made a survival game with only one pixel, and I thought, this is interesting and creative. They probably know what they're doing in life. I, as a matter of fact, don't know what I'm fucking doing, ever. So I thought, I could do that, but with way less effort and even less skill. I opened up Unity, and you already know by now. Bada bing, bada boom, player. That's right, it's still a goddamn box, because I still don't know how to make games. Add a ton of green boxes, and now you got an island. And the brain rot must be getting to me, because I spent a good 15 minutes trying to figure out how Z position works in 2D, because my brain just doesn't understand depth. But with that solved, the player can now move. Nope, I hate my life. There we go, now we're cooking. This is gonna be easy. It was, in fact, not easy, but Mend at the time didn't know that. And like I always say, what's the fun of surviving without the threat of death around every corner? And I really need to stop making quotes. So we need hunger, thirst, and enemies. But obviously, a game where you just wander around an island and die would be fun for me, but it wouldn't be as fun for players. So, some ways to fend off the dangers. For hunger, I first thought bananas because it's an island and obviously return to monk, but then I realized I hate yellow, so then I tried oranges, then purple berries. Why? I don't know why I do anything I do. For thirst, there's a bunch of water puddles scattered around the island that you can drink out of. And to block enemies, wood, so you can build, or just place sticks in front of the enemy and hope it doesn't trample them along with all your hopes and dreams. I made the island less blocky and added sand because it looked stupid, and rock. It serves the same purpose as the wood, but it's cooler. I wanted to procedurally generate the island, but then I realized I don't know a goddamn thing about anything, including procedural generation. So, uh, it's a feature now. The game is the same time every time you play it, so you need to rely on strategy and not rely on getting lucky. Totally a design feature. So, an enemy that doesn't move is okay, but an enemy that chases after you in the dark? Terrifying. The code is something that is even more terrifying than the enemy. It only really shows up in the nightmares of good programmers, but I'm not a good programmer and it works and that's all that matters. Now that you're under constant threat of an enemy whose only purpose is to kill you, you need some way to defend yourself. And obviously the best defense isn't a good offense, but sticks and rocks. Do you know they break bones? Oh my God, my code is so bad. All right, let me just move this rock right here. Nope, oh my God, why is this happening to me? Life, please. Walking on water is another problem. I'll get to it later. Oh, okay, cool. Enemies just don't give two shits about the rock. And now they just eat you. I'm sure that won't be a problem. And they go into berry bushes. This is fun. I'm having fun. I'm having so much fun right now. And the rocks just eat you again. I need more coffee. Ladies and gentlemen, you can now move rocks. Game of the year, here I come. 10 out of 10, five stars, top of the shelf, certified platinum. All right, since the game is pretty close to done, I should probably make the game limited to nine pixels since that's the point of the whole thing. And I made a garbage survival game, doesn't quite roll off the tongue as much. And I'm still having trouble understanding depth. It's pretty difficult to avoid the enemy, but I saw this cool feature in another survival game where you avoid the enemy by the shadow they give off. I just don't know where I found that idea. I wish I knew so I could give them credit. I made hunger and thirst go down whenever you move, just to add more things to worry about. Why? Because I like seeing people suffer. I, I mean, it adds another layer of strategy into the game. Walk into a puddle of water, replenish your thirst. And walk into a giant, probably not poisonous purple berry, replenish your hunger. I saw this cool comment in Verily Fine's video, and I mean, if I'm already stealing the idea, I might as well. Control C, Control V. Cool, you can now view hunger and thirst by pressing two and three. It ranges from green to red, with green being good and red meaning you're gonna die soon, get help, someone send help, we're all dying. What? Since I'm too stupid to do procedural generation, I did some cool level design to make the island balanced and have lots of resources. Also, I just removed wood because it was dumb and rock is better anyway. Play test of the game and no surprise here, it's bad and the enemy was kind of dumb and couldn't handle a rock, so I fixed that, I think. Made it so you can no longer walk on water? Cool, that just means there's no escape. And now you can die, because you know what I say, what's the fun of dying if you aren't surviving? Wait, what? And uh, having one enemy was scary enough, especially with only being able to view nine pixels at once. So obviously, I made it spawn more enemies as the game went on. Oh my god, this is actually terrifying. So the game looks terrible. I don't think there's any denying that. Anything I touch is garbage, but it's okay, because we got some post-processing. 
God damn it, I love post-processing. Makes the trash I make look slightly better. And what's this? There's sound? What is this, a good game? I found this cool free music online and uh, some sound effects I didn't steal. So thank you, thank you. It's a big step for my previous games with no sound. Don't expect it in the next game though. There's about a 50-50. I have the energy and attention span to add sound to any games I make. So I was playtesting this and I was unironically having fun with it, which was surprising to me because everything else I made, they speak for themselves. The game is up on itch.io if you want to play it. If you thought me spending more time on a game would make it better, <laughs> nope. Are you ever in for a surprise? The game's existence is a war crime. I'll drop the link in the description and in all seriousness, big thanks to Verily Fine for 95% of the ideas in this video and game. A link to their channel will be in the description and a pinned comment if I can figure out how to pin comments. This took a surprising amount of time to make, so I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe if you want more questionable content in the future. I'm working on another video right now, and hopefully more to come soon after that. I'll see you guys later.